We may never discover the famous alien E.T., but it may surprise a lot of you. It did certainly surprise a lot of us. The Vatican. The Vatican is looking to the heavens for signs of life. Yes, David. 400 years after the church locked up Galileo for challenging the view that Earth was the center of the universe, the Catholic Church is exploring if life exists elsewhere in the universe. And astronomers, physicists, and priests are in Rome this week to debate the age-old question, if we are or are we really alone? And Dan Gilgoff covers religion for Yes News and World Report. Dan, uh, early this morning, this 8 o'clock, David and I are all happy about this story. This is our story. We love this one. <laughs> Dan, by the way, is the author of The Jesus Machine. So, you know, so many times the Catholic Church, especially, and religion in general, is seen as being behind the times. It seems like a very progressive conversation to be having. What are they really looking at here? It is. You know, the church has come a long way. As David mentioned, you know, they locked up uh, Galileo. Before Galileo, about 35 years prior, there was actually an Italian philosopher who was burned at the stake uh, for suggesting that there was extraterrestrial life. Now, here we are, 400 years He'd be a hero later. Now. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the church is inviting these same exact folks, this guy, the same type who was burned at the stake, to the Vatican for this conference um, on whether the extraterrestrial life exists. I think it really speaks to this Pope and this Pope's uh, efforts to uh, reconcile faith and reason. And this is a, a high-profile way that, that he's trying to do this. There was a statement from Reverend Jose Brielle Funes, and it says, just as there is a multitude of creatures on Earth, there could be other beings, even intelligent ones created by God. Mm -hmm. This does not contradict our faith because we cannot put limits on God's creative freedom. Uh, but, but is there something in the Bible that they can point to uh, I'm not an expert on the Bible right. but is there something that might and David I know you're surprised to hear that I'm not an expert on the Bible but is there something that they can point to that would back this up in the good book well you know it depends what tradition you're talking about and I think this is really interesting because it points up a divide right now between the Roman Catholic Church who says hey we could live and our theology could coexist with extraterrestrial life you look at the uh, evangelical church in the United States and by the way the United States say 40 percent of the people believe in evolution the church, the Roman Catholic Church, the Vatican, earlier this year, sponsors a conference on the 150th anniversary of Darwin's landmark work. So I think it points out some uh, differences in religious traditions taking different postures um, to science. But in this case, Vatican says, hey, yeah, we could live with extraterrestrial life. God, God's okay with that. Hmm. You know, Dan, it's so interesting to imagine uh, that, uh, I mean, that, you know, the, the religious people would say, okay, yeah, this is great, this is all part of God's work, but I guess I have a question. You mentioned the, the Pope in particular, Pope Benedict. Is he a UFO enthusiast or <laughs> alien enthusiast that we know of? No, not, not that I know of. It's interesting, though, because, you know, on the one hand, some of this stuff could be hard to reconcile. The Pope, on his way to Africa earlier this year, says uh, things like um, the spread of co condoms could actually expedite the spread of AIDS. Seems to be kind of anti-social science, at least in some ways. And in, and in an instance like this, he's embracing Darwin. He's in, uh, embracing the possibility of uh, uh, life on other planets. And so you see this Pope doing something very interesting, really trying to update the church in one way, like with this conference and also really hewing tr to traditions on um, some questions like birth control and, and condoms. So taking the church in different directions when it comes to different issues, but all revolving around science. And what's been the response to this from uh, many Catholics around the world well, as this news spreads that this conference is happening? Yeah, I, I think it's been um, a little bit mixed. There are some um, uh, Catholics in America who feel like the church might be going too far in em embracing science. But I think for the most part, Catholics really pride themselves in a robust intellectual tradition, and the Vatican has long been associated with that itself. And so I think a lot of Catholics are actually proud that in this instance, religion does not seem to be the enemy of science, but actually an Interesting. Well, David, wow. on the eighth I, day, God created E.T. <laughs> right. Yeah, I just, you know, the, the Vatican may have a problem, uh, Tamron and Dan, if, if, you know, E.T. ever does show up and says, no, you really should use condoms, then, oh, gosh, David. then what? I mean, and I do you believe I the aliens? Do you believe your own, teach, your own preachings? I don't know. Yeah. Both across that bridge when they come to We're, it. And if. <laughs> if we come to yeah. that, Dan, if we, Dan Gildoff, the author of The Jesus Machine, thank you for uh, our commentary and questions, David. Sure, um, it's interesting. I think it's, it's a phenomenal discussion. I can't wait to hear what they say after this conference, David.